What is up YouTube and welcome to Tech and More. Today, I got a special video for you. It's my complete review of the XR, which you're watching right now. And this right here is the 7 Plus. Now, I didn't really review it. I just talked about, well, I, I just talked about it, I liked it. So, in this video, I want to talk about my experience trans transferring from the 7 Plus to the X. First, let's do the pros. The pros are facial recognition. Facial recognition is awesome. I mean, I said that in my last video, but it's really helpful. I mean, in the getting the app, get to your phone. I kind of miss the fingerprint. I'm not gonna lie. I do because sometimes it doesn't recognize my face. Or if I'm like laying down, then I have to type in the code. So, you know, facial recognition is kind of out the window half the time. But all in all, going from ugh, coming from the 7 Plus, I do miss the, the the fingerprint scanning. It was fast, quick, and I hope that they put the fingerprint under the screen with the next iPhone at some point, because I really like that. The second thing about coming from the 7 Plus to the XR is the camera. Although it only has one camera on it, the lens is like, actually spectacular i have some photos that i've shot uh some with me from snapchat and then i got some where i took pictures of this xr box with both cameras i tried to make the angles as best i could so you can see but the xr is still outperforming the dual camera lens on the 7 plus which to me the 7 plus had one of the best cameras uh, most of my videos have been shot from the 7 plus but you know it's really good. Uh, the portrait mode, I love the portrait mode. The portrait mode is awesome. I like using it. Uh, I've just, I've had a phone for more than a week, but I've just started using the portrait mode. I'm gonna shoot more pictures and experiment with me with that more. And it's, it has, I mean, different filters for the portrait mode. I didn't know that. Although, you know, I've watched plenty of videos on the XR. I haven't really come across one that talks too much about that. I mean, they touched on it, but not, you know, went in depth. And the third pro, wireless charging, baby. Coming from plugging your phone up, forgetting to plug your phone up, to just throwing your phone down on a wireless charger pad, one of the best things in the world. I had been tinkering with wireless charging before because I got one of those little charging pads that you can stick into your 7 Plus, or really whatever phone you had, but you know, you have before wireless charging, and then throw it on the charging pad. That was cool, but it was too much that had to go on with putting on the 7 Plus. Excuse me. Because if I didn't have a case on it, then I have to tape it because it didn't have an adhesive. And then it's, without a case, it's just too exposed. And it could get ruined. So having wireless charging is great. Wireless charging, charging on my phone, you know, I'm never waking up and my phone hasn't been on 100%. Keep calm. The first has to be the size. I thought that it was going to be bigger. Um, even though I held a few, kind of, sort of, compared them at at t but I thought it would be bigger. But now that I have it like on a daily, a day to day basis, it's actually smaller and chunkier than the 7 Plus. The 7 Plus, now that I have my, my XR, it just feels, the 7 Plus feels a lot sweeter. I love that build forever. I mean, I'm not knocking the, the XR, but it's just like, it's almost too small, but it's not quite there. It's like the perfect size, but I still do miss that, that bigger, that bigger phone, I guess. But a bigger phone will have me reaching harder, I guess, across the screen. So that's one thing. Of course, everybody hates the notch. Yes, the notch is a, a, a killer of emotions and everything. But I mean, the only problem I have with the notch is YouTube videos. That is the only problem I have with the notch. Because, well, not so, for say the notch, but YouTube videos don't expand through the whole phone. YouTube, please get on this. Let's have a full screen. I mean, when I'm watching videos on online, or I'm watching Netflix, it covers the full screen. But 
I wish there was a way that they could fade it so you know we have an entire screen to watch. So that's one downside coming from the seven to the XR. I mean, you don't get the full real estate. Even though there's more screen on here, you don't get the full real estate. But the screen itself is beautiful. Despite what people say, even one of my best friends told me I shouldn't get it. And now he's jealous. And the man didn't even tell me that it was beautiful after seeing it in person because his brother got one. Haters. Last con I have is there is no force touch on here. It's an imitation of force touch where you can, on the lock screen, if you got a text message, you can pop it. But it's just for text messages. And then it doesn't even feel the same. It's what they, I think they say it's a happy feedback. So you can actually, this actually like, to me, I've noticed there's a skip, a big skip between when you're pressing down and trying to open something. I miss being able to look into messages without actually opening up the entire thing or being able to use those shortcuts to get into apps or certain places in an app with the 7 Plus. And I feel like it did that very well. I'm guessing I have to try another, I think other teams have it. I'm pretty sure they should. So next year I'm going to try I'm going to try the 10x max once I pay this one off or however soon I pay this one off or if I get my hand on the 10x max I'm definitely hoping it's gonna be a lot better. Once again, the 10R is a lot. It's everything I wanted. It's product brand. It has wireless charger and it came at a cheap price of 750. Can't beat that. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and if you're already on the channel, thank you so much for continuing to watch my progress. I know it is shaky, it's ugly, but hey, we're going to get this one, okay? Also, follow me on Snapchat if you want to see me on a regular, just advance underscore 1000, and I, do, I don't post as much as I used to, but I have a new Instagram, it's now tech and more underscore tech and more and underscore vans underscore 1000 so follow me on instagram i do post sometimes i've been trying to do more edits uh i haven't been doing them like i used to because i have a lot going on if you don't know i have a child on the way um i'm in between jobs right now going to a new job so there's been a lot going on yeah and of course i'm gonna vlog about that and there's gonna be so much more about it so see you next time peace